Hey everyone, and uh, I just thought I'll share this video with you. Um, I am going on a trip, and um, I thought as I pack my stuff, um, I would actually maybe share with you guys what's in my travel makeup bag. I'll be gone for a couple of days, and um, I know that summer is coming up, and some of you may have trips that you plan or graduation is coming up, and you have to. You go into a friend's graduation, and you, or you just travel abroad for vacation, or what do you take um, with you, or you know how do you go about packing your makeup bag? Um, so I thought maybe why not share it with you. So this is my travel makeup bag. This is actually a new one. I actually had a gold color looking one that I was using for a couple of years, and actually this is smaller than that one, <laughs> needless to say, but it feels as heavy, um, if not heavier than the one that I was using, was using before. So this is what it looks like and I actually really like it. It's pretty cute. Very trendy. Wish it was pink and black though but then because the white will get nasty. So this is what it looks like inside. Um, as you can see it's filled almost what I will guess I can see what we say to the brim. Um, so brush there's like a brush holder thing here and then all the stuff is inside here and what i did pretty much was pack my palettes if you guys can see in here stack my palettes that i was taking my um face powders there and then i try to pack some of the things as neat as possible in it and yes i have to take it out to show you so but what i did and i can show it to you like this maybe without taking out these brushes because they're pretty much set is that I put um, a flat top face powder brush, a blush brush, and a stippling brush for highlighting that I use. And then all of my eye brushes actually fit in this last um, section here, as you can see, this section here. And these um, brushes actually, I've put nail polish and colored, you know, kind of colored it, um, paint them over. I've, I did this a while back and I thought it looked cute, so that's there. And I'm working with two eyeliners, and I can pull those out and show you. It's actually um, Urban Decay Zero, um, and my Ulta um, Long Lasting Waterproof Green Eyeliner, and this color is called what? Olive. I actually really like this, and it's waterproof, and it's it's pretty good in terms of um, its wear. In my makeup bag that I have in my purse that I there's a little makeup bag I carry around with me that has a blue or teal color um, eyeliner from Ulta also and I will have that also for a nice pop of color so I've decided to only work with um, two palettes and I'll show you those quickly um, first is my sleek sunset palette and for those of you who do not know what a sleek palette looks like which I show most of you do but I'm still gonna show it to you I've not used it as yet so it's gonna make its debut on this strip so that's what a sleek um, palette looks like and I'll try and do a review and post pictures on my blog before if possible I use it so that you can see um, close-ups of it and the other palette that I'm working with is actually my urban decay um, show pony palette. I got this from my sister for my birthday. I also got this sleek palette too then. So that was in a earlier haul earlier this year. So this has a couple colors and um, I didn't use my sleek eyeshadows as yet and so that's why I wanted to just take it on my trip. Plus with the show pony my sister is going to be on a trip with me so she gave me it and I thought oh what a nice way of showing her that I'm using it by traveling with it. So yeah. I'm actually working with this contouring blush duo, duo from e.l.f. Um, I've actually hit pan on the blush side and this is the bronzer and I use this as my current bronzer and the bronzer never finishes and you know my light flush mineralized skin finish so that's what I'm using. Um, for blush I am working with my project pan item with my blush and rose blush. Um, I also work on this pressed face powder only because it's pressed and I know it's going to work pretty well. It's translucent, so it's it's not like loose minerals or anything like that to be crazy. I worked on it one lip gloss just because I have a clear 
lip gloss with me and I'm just gonna pull out a couple things quickly so that you can see things neatly yeah so I'm working with this also from elf so I'm just working with this colored one just in case um, for moisturizer I'm working with my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel and um, for moisture for foundation I'm going on with my pro long wear because it's going to you know be outdoors this, this is a fun trip so um, I just thought it will last, my foundation would last and for lips for lipstick I'm working with just this lip color which is 02 it's a nice um, reddish kind of color that will go with the lip gloss and I actually have um, uh, car um, carnation from Revlon in my handbag and a uh, MAC lipstick I can't remember which one it is Amorous in my so I don't want to be walking with too much you know lip products because usually I just end up using the lip glaze or the EOS which I'm not walking with my EOS because I have another um, my baby lips in my um, makeup bag that's in my bag so my baby lips will work for that and my eye cream from Clinique and I think that's that's it so no yeah my mascara from my this is not waterproof and I'm really thinking twice I may actually add a waterproof liner just in case with me um, so that's that's what was what I am toothpaste plan to get a new one so but I just work with that just nevertheless um, so right, so you saw my lip gloss. For eye primer, I'm actually working with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and also my Bare Minerals. So, but I haven't put that in yet because I plan to use that um, in the morning when I get ready. So that's out. Well, actually, I'll put it in because I plan to use the stuff in here to get ready. I have to also put my um, beauty sponge, which is what I apply my foundation with. Um, but I washed it, so I'm just leaving it out to dry. And I'm also working with this clean facial soap. This is a travel size, and I'm also working with their 70s scrub cream. So this is like a face scrub. So I'm working with these two also. And let's quickly put it back in here. Um, you always need a sharpener, so I have my sharpener here with me, my two pencils, and I have here a sample of um my soft focal um paint pot so I have that here so I'm working with it as my base and lastly this Paris Hilton travel size um, perfume I have it with me I also have my very sexy in my make handbag so that's there and I think that's my that might be just the two perfumes that I use for the trip and I have my um, Victoria's Secret heavenly forever heavenly no forever mist that I it's in my project pan so um, just pretty much use that and use them out don't want to be walking around with too much too much makeup so that's pretty much it for what I'm taking with me um, I don't think I want to walk with too much stuff and you know to weigh down my um, my carry-on and I think that's it I don't think I'm missing anything if you guys think I'm missing anything I will actually upload this video very soon so if you think I'm missing anything Please leave a comment below so that I can go and change it. Oh, I just remember face wipes and toner. Yeah, I need to add those two things. So I have to go and get my small little toner, travel size toner that I had from Clinique a while back that I said I was keeping. Yeah, I kept it back. So I'm going to put some toner inside that to travel and my face wipes, which will rest on top of my, my makeup bag. Oh, and my lip liner. I forgot. I took it out and then put it back in. So yeah, my lip liner from NYX. So... Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, so I'm going to upload this now. So you guys, in case I forget anything, you can actually leave a comment below and be help me. Make sure I don't forget all my makeup, anything from my makeup goodies. So thanks everyone for watching. Take care. Bye. Hope this is helpful. Bye-bye.